You know, sometimes game crossovers aren't always what you expect it. Depends on who you ask. Like, you were to ask me, hey Adrian, host Spotlight and trailer discussion, any controversial crossover loves? I might say I like Street Fighter Cross Tekken is debatable. And some might say Hyrule Warriors, the progeny of Dynasty Warriors and Zelda. Not debatable because it was so good it warranted a sequel. <laughs> This is Hyrule Warriors, Age of Calamity by Omega Force. Check it. Well, Link, you've grown since I last saw you. And yet, you have not changed. I would like to be fully prepared. Learning new ways to fight foes might do me some good. So that's why it's a good thing it's gonna be us! Well, it's just Varudania is in a difficult spot right now. Stacy! Not bad! Come on! Death Mountain won't climb itself! No longer, I say. I will pilot this divine beast. I hope you're not hurt, little bird. Rito Village is my home. While I'm here, you won't be getting any closer. You didn't stand a chance! I suppose the time has finally come to reveal Far Meadow's divine power! You have all that is needed to face whatever destiny awaits. Hyrule's fate is in your hands. So that trailer doesn't lie. Traditionally speaking, when it comes to Zelda, Nintendo don't miss. And because of that, we're always waiting for the next thing. And who knows when we'll get that sequel to Breath of the Wild, right? Last seen E3 2019. But here's what I do know. This game is a prequel. It takes place 100 years prior to the events in Breath of the Wild. That means you get to experience the origins of the Sheikah Slate. Calamity Ganon, and a few other things I won't spoil. So you're going to be exploring this pre-Breath of the Wild environment using a travel system, rather than a free-roaming, go-wherever-you-want-to open world. Since this is before Ganon clapped up all of Hyrule, some areas will look different, but some parts of the map are familiar. Take a look at Zora's Domain, for example, where we can see Mipha handling her business and talking to her pops, the king. And do you notice her weapon? It's the light scale trident. How can you not smile when you see that? From a combat perspective, it's extremely fun. You're always comically outnumbered, but you'll be defeating like 15 enemies at a time easily. It reminds me of like, you know, when a wrestler comes back from injury or hiatus and they just like run in the ring and hit their finisher on everyone unscathed. It's like that. And you get a similar arsenal, utilizing different combos and sweeping area attacks, specials, and Sheikah rune abilities that you'll recognize. Some even enhance. Just look at our boy Daruk styling with the stasis. Playing as Daruk and Mifa is just the start, as the cast of playable characters is extensive and important to the storytelling, often swapping between different champions in a single battle across multiple missions. Now, did you notice the divine beast shown on the tapestries? That's because you'll get a chance to dabble and mess around with them as well. How dope is that? Add in cooking, unbreakable weapons, thank God, and puzzles, and you'll feel right back in 2017. You can watch Hyrule history unfold right now by picking up your copy. Rated T for Teen.